Greetings, programs. My name is Wretch, and I'd like to welcome you to Rebel Galaxy, a space simulation that was gifted to me on Steam by Vassaros, who has provided me with many games over the course of the last two years on the channel, for which I am very thankful. And the premise of this game, as was explained to me, was Firefly meets Privateer. And that was all I ne really needed to hear, because I'm a big fan of both of those subject matters. Uh, Firefly is one of my favorite sci-fi franchises, and Privateer and Privateer 2 The Darkening were my two first sandbox games on PC. As you can see, we've got an awesome soundtrack in the background and a huge space battle going on. And I think we're going to have a lot of fun with this, guys. So let's go ahead and start a new game. I played the first mission to kind of get a feel for it, and man, I was very impressed with what I saw. Six days ago, you received a cryptic message from your Aunt Juno, the family black sheep who you haven't seen or heard from in over ten years. The message provided the access codes to the Rasputin, a near derelict spacecraft and a relic of her younger days. Also included were the coordinates to Rust City, an out-of-the-way space station with a questionable reputation. She practically begged you to meet her there as quickly as possible. Now, after several days of travel and a few unscheduled maintenance stops, you have at last arrived. This is a place of liars and thieves. You wonder how you let yourself get dragged to such a godforsaken backwater. How's that for setting a tone? Now, here we go. Onto the main game screen. And we got a message from Rust City. Let's go ahead and hold E. Ah, there you are. Grant asked me to keep an eye out for you. I see you found her old ship. Bring it into the dock and meet me at the bar. I have something for you. And who are you? Where are my manners? I'm Orzu, an old friend of your aunt's, back in my younger, wilder days. Now I own the bar here, and life is quieter. I see. Well, I guess I'll see you after I dock. See you soon. Welcome to Rebel Galaxy. First, you're going to want to get comfortable maneuvering your ship. Tap E to increase your throttle in 25% increments, and Q to reduce it, and use A and D to steer. Next, you'll want to dock with a nearby station. Use the mouse to look around, fly close enough, and a context prompt will let you know that you can hold the dock. From there, visit the bar and find out what Orzu has to say. So, here is the Rasputin, our starting ship. Looks pretty cool, honestly. And check this out, man. This is awesome. It's even got um, the space signs like you would see in Cowboy Bebop. And I'm also getting a Cowboy Bebop vibe as well as Firefly. So we speed up just a little bit. We get close enough to Rust City to dock. And there we go. Buy a turret. The Rasputin has two turret mounts, but only one turret installed at present. It's a good idea to visit the equipment bay, enter the weapons section, and purchase a new scatter turret to install in your beta turret mount. So let's go ahead and go to, we got the bar, the equipment bay, the shipyard, commodities market, and the mission board. This is straight out of the privateer games. I love it. So we'll go to the equipment bay first, and we see the Rasputin here. And we can choose between weapons, defense, and components. So right now we have no ordnance. We have broadsides, secondary weapons, our alpha turret, and our beta turret. We'll go here, and looks like the only one that we can afford, and there's tons of them, is the MK1 scatter turret. The scatter turret fires steel projectiles at an extremely fast rate and velocity with limited accuracy. It suffers from slightly diminished shield penetration. So let's go ahead and buy that for 750 credits. We start the game with a thousand. And there we go. We got a, a bit more firepower on our ship. And I don't think we can afford anything else. But you can see here in the defense, we've got hulls, shields, and deflectors. And that goes to 4,500 credits. And in components, we have engines, boosters, warp drive, 
Looks like we can expand our cargo hold. And this is just like riding a bike. Tractor beam. Jump drive, which I think we already have one. And subsystems. Repair bot, maneuvering booster. Awesome. Let's take a look and see what kind of ships we can get, too. Um, exit out of there. Shipyard. So we have the hammerhead, and we can rename the ship, too, if we feel so inclined. What else do we have? The Mastodon? The Tenhausen? I, I think that's how you pronounce that. These are some awesome looking ship designs. The Scarab? Looks like some old, like, hot rods, like very... This is something that definitely pirates and smugglers would rock out. And the Manticore. Look at that beast. Alright. And I'm, I'm really digging the guitar in the background, too. It's, it definitely sets the tone. And we got the commodities market. So we can buy cargo and do cargo runs if we feel so inclined. Robots, music or munitions, designer clothes, 5D holo films. And we got the mission board. Double Jack Rogue. So we got like bounty hunting and de delivery missions. And if you guys have played any of the privateer games, you know what this is all about. And I'm, it's really cool to see them still making this kind of game. Well, I guess let's go ahead and visit the bar. And meet Orzu. Aha! My, you're the spitting image of Juno. So good to see you. So, where is my aunt? She was supposed to meet me here. Uh, to be honest, I don't know. I haven't seen her in nearly a week. She was afraid she wouldn't make it back before you arrived. Why do you say that? Because she gave me something to give to you on her behalf. Why would she have done so if she was expecting to be present? Well, what is it? Maybe it'll tell me how to find her. That may be. She called it a Spectre, though I doubt that it's its proper name. Juno mentioned that it's some sort of AI symbiote, whatever that means. Yeah, AI symbiotes are always a good thing in sci-fi, aren't they? Can I see it? Here you go. Ooh. As to your aunt, frankly, you're in no shape to find her. That's the Rasputin parked in the hangar, isn't it? I hate to say it, but times have changed since that was a worthy ship. What do you mean? Well, you've got no deflector, no tractor beam, that whole plating is like paper. And to be frank, your weapon systems are practically pop guns. No offense. Alright, you have any suggestions? I can get you an upgrade or two. Juno would never forgive me if I sent you off on your inevitable doom. I, can afford, I can't afford to let it go for nothing, though. I've got a little something you could help me with in exchange. So this is probably our first mission. What kind of something? I've got a shipment of grilled whiskey coming in. My supplier, however, seems to have gotten himself into hot water and can't come near the station. I'll give you the payment, and if you can make the exchange, I'll have something for you when you return. It's a deal. Excellent. Here's 500 credits for the payoff and the coordinates where you'll meet. His name is Branson Cole, and he should be waiting for you. Bring the whiskey back, and we'll get you squared away. And I'll have some more information as well. I'm on it. 500 credits received, mission completed. New mission, the exchange. So, let's talk to the bartender, I guess. Take a seat, friend. What's on your mind? You are a dapper, dapper dressed fellow, and you have a cybernetic arm, too. What's the news around the system? The pirates around here are a real problem. You take a hand in cleaning up that mess, the Confederation will take notice. Wow, the government's also called the Confederation in this universe. That is awesome. Thanks for the info. Got any advice for someone new to the Quadrant? If you want to make some cash and keep your skin, 
check the news board. Keep an eye on recent events and you could make some good trades. Hear anything about the local market? Well, now that you mention it, I did hear about something. Word is that Ruble Reach is selling tachyon salt way lower than market. All right. Do you know of any bounties in the area? I got a few tips on local bounties, but that information ain't exactly free. So we have to pay for tips. All righty. Good talking to you. And we can hire a mercenary, which I assume that's the Merc right there. News or news board. Archaeological find. Ancient artifacts of significant import have been discovered near Riddick Mall. A vessel has been dispatched to Gobi Belcredi Zone to commence research at the Science Center. And Tech Boom. A scientific boom on Corbett's sector has resulted in a surplus of high quality tech gear. So this is where we find out stuff about the markets and we can find stuff for the cheap or find what's expensive and make a little bit of money. So I think we're everything's good right here in Rust City. So let's depart the station and go on our first mission here. Missions are marked as gold diamonds on your screen and radar. Adjust your heading to point towards your destination. As you move farther away from large objects, you will accelerate to sublight speed and warp capability will become available. Warping allows you to navigate vast distances very quickly. Holy crap! That music in the background, that's uh... That was AJ Styles theme music in TNA. That's awesome! View your stellar map, press control to get a better view of potential destinations and routes. Well, that just made the game even greater to me. So, control, map, sector map, oh, citizenry, system militia, red devil cartel, double jack thugs, and Corian outsiders. And this is the map of the current system that we're in. There's a lot to do here. Merchant's Guild Station. Connections to different systems. Let's look at the uh, sector map here real quick. So there's a lot of sectors too. Sharon, Persephone. Haha, <laughs> Persephone. Can't wait to go over there. Alright, awesome. Let's go ahead and uh, head to the exchange, which is our first mission. So it's E to get our uh, engines up to full. Press and hold W to boost. So those are our afterburners. And now we can engage warp. I'll tell you what, this ship has some awesome radio. Now are we... Okay, here's our warp going on. Yeah, that definitely saves time. So it looks like we still have to do jump points from system to system. Just like in Privateer. I guess we have to exit warp here at the right moment. Like, check that out. We're passing by planets and asteroid fields and all kinds of good stuff. Pulse scanning. Use your pulse function to detect distant objects and resources and be notified of bounties and scan range. Mission important icons will be marked with an exclamation point to indicate their status. Hostile and friendly targets will appear as red and blue diamonds. Cargo of valuables will appear as purple diamonds. And non-piloted mission objects will appear as gold diamonds containing a question mark. Asteroids containing harvestable resources will be marked with gray diamonds. Alrighty. Oh! Cool, it took us right out of, uh, warp. Hey there. You you got my payment. <laughs> Sorry if you can't hear anything because of the music, but I don't want to turn it down because I love that song. Yeah, he did send me. Here's the cash. And wait a minute. 
We got some we got some options to swerve him too. Pleasure doing business with you. Received cargo grill whiskey. Huh. Well, we got the stash. Let's head back to Orzu. Deliver whiskey. So I guess we have to go a certain way before we can actually activate warp. Warp inhibited by stellar... Oh, okay. So when we get close to something, it actually takes us out of warp. That's awesome. That's going to make life a whole lot easier, because I was afraid that we were going to start flying into planets and nebulas and stars. Remember, traveling through hyperspace ain't like dust and crops, boy. Apparently we have this song on repeat on the ship's uh, radio. I'm okay with that. Check out that. Is that... Yeah, that's definitely the sun. This game is very pretty, and I have my graphics set actually very low. And... Wow, that's handy. 15,035 credits received. Wow, we, we're we in the money now. Um, Well, I guess we can go ahead and visit the bar and talk to Orzu. Let's do that first, and then I think we'll spend some of our money. Excellent! Many thanks for your help. I've got two options for you here. A deflector and a tractor beam. Deflectors are an excellent defense in combat, and of course you'll need a tractor to bring objects into the Rasputin's hold. Nice. Um... I guess... Well, we have some money. We can probably buy some stuff. Let's go... Let's take the tractor beam, because I would like to bring objects into the hold if we need to. A fine choice. I'll have my men transfer it to the Rasputin right away. So, about my aunt? Yes, of course. But I was hoping I might trouble you for a quick favor, given how deftly you handled the exchange. Uh, we're gonna have to jump some hoops, huh? Well, tell me about it, I suppose. It's a simple matter. I have some items at the remote storage location, and given their contents, it would be best if they weren't discovered by any interested parties. I need them disposed of at no real risk to you. Alright, I guess I can do that. Perfect. Here is the relevant information. Destroy the containers however you see fit. I am sure it won't take a moment. I'll be back shortly. Cleanup operation. We could actually hire a merc if we wanted to. Um, Let's not do that just yet, though. Let's go ahead and uh, get our ship a little bit more hot-rotted. So we do have a tractor beam, which is awesome. So let's get our deflector bot. 4,500 credits. That's not bad. Install this component now? Indeed. So the ship sucks a little bit less. Actually, let's, uh, I want to see how much it costs for a new ship. The Mastodon is 43,000 credits. Hmm. Alrighty. So we got a lot of, uh, work to do before we can buy a new ship. Anything else we want to buy weapon-wise? Secondary. Short range concussive blast effective against fighters and incoming missiles, but useless against capital ships. But we don't have anything here. Launched broadside. Dumbfire missiles have no homing capability, but can be devastating when brought to bear on a nearby capital craft. So we got dumbfire. Okay, so we have dumbfire, heat seekers, and EMPs. Hmm. I think we might be good for right now. Let's uh, let's go ahead and save our pennies. And see what exactly we have to do here with destroying this cargo. Mm. 
And it's right past this way. So this is very... This is actually very interesting because there, you can't, like, fly up or around. We're actually stuck on, like, a, on a horizontal plane, which is interesting for a space game. But I also think that would make things a whole lot easier for the developers and for the player as well. So I'm okay with it. And look, we got some nebula and... Looks like they don't count that as a planetary mass, though, which is good. Maybe we're heading to an asteroid field or something. I have to say, though, the Rasputin looks like an awesome ship. Unidentified signal detected. Ooh! Man, this ship's got some good brakes. Orzu's container. Combat in Rebel Galaxy is naval style, which means broadsides. Use left mouse button to fire your broadside cannons. To aim your broadsides, orbit the camera until it faces in the direction you wish to fire. Now hold the right mouse button to charge your broadsides. The shot predictor will show where the projectiles will travel and can be adjusted with the mouse. The longer you hold the right mouse button, the more accurate and synchronized your shots will be. So we have no front gun. Interesting. Okay, let's uh, slow this down. Ah, okay. Well, that's one. And we'll just have to navigate through the asteroids here. How cool. This is this is different from Privateer, so this is uh, kind of how it differentiates itself. Unidentified signal detected. Don't know what's in these containers? Don't really care? Orzo seems like a completely legitimate guy, right? Well, we missed. Are we out of range? There we go. Your turrets are an important part of combat and are capable of firing at targets your broadsides can't reach. Use 3 and 2 to switch between the stations on your vessel. This will allow you to manually control individual turret groups. When controlling a turret group, use the mouse to aim the turret. When near a valid target, it will snap to the target and follow automatically to keep it in camera. Hold left mouse button to continuously fire a turret. Alright. So, do we have... Baddie's heading this? Oh, yes we do. Double Jack Retaliator. Well, let's do this. If we're gonna get into a scrap. And there's our shields. Uh oh. You can absorb damage at will by using your deflector. Hold space. While the deflector is engaged, you can't fire any of your weapons, but 100% of most damage will be absorbed. The deflector has a limited capacity and drains over time as well as when struck. More advanced deflectors can absorb more damage. Nice! Unidentified signal detected. Um, let's see what three... Oh, okay, we hit him. That's good. Double jack fighter. Let's not run into the asteroids now. So these guys can move around while we can't for some reason. It looks like we took one of them down. Is everyone dead now? Nice. I guess we pulled it off. Now... Or do we have one more? still up I see red there you are a double jack retaliator so it said three and four I'm using the turret now oh this is cool all right can we go back to huh 
Oh, proximity alerts. I'm still I'm trying to get used to this combat system. It's a little bit different from what I'm used to. Where'd you go there? Oh, here's our forward fire. I bet you won't. Now. Three and four and two. Okay, now we're on broadsides again. This seems to be the more effective co uh, damage dealer. And this guy seems to be running from us. That's probably smart. Come on, guy. Don't pick a fight unless you plan to finish it. There we go. Now we're doing some damage. Hitting them with all the broadsides. Ah, don't run. I have such wonderful things to show you. Unidentified signal detected. I'm not sure what that is. All right, we're back in back in business. He's given time for his shields to heal up. There we go. I'm going to have to practice a little bit more to get used to that, but that was fun. And we have to head back to the station now. Well, actually, we got to fly on the other side of this uh, asteroid field. <laughs> Because otherwise we are not going to be able to. I'm sure Orzu knew absolutely nothing about uh, us getting attacked by pirates. That good old Orzu wouldn't put us into any kind of danger, now would he? Now that we're out of here, we can probably get back into warp speed. Alright, here we go. Let's go! Hot rod our way out of here. Right when the music crescendo too. That's awesome. How... this is... this is awesome. I I didn't know what to expect with this game. It's really tough for me to get past Privateer as my favorite space sandbox game, but this one may come close. And we'll go ahead and dock. And is that a successful 15,616 credits? We need some repairs though. 17 credits. Well, I don't know if I can if I can uh, bear the spare 15, 17 credits. Repairs complete. And we're back to full. All right, guys. Well, I think we have done a successful start in this world and as you can tell, I'm really really enjoying it. But I will go ahead and end it here and we will talk to Orzu at the beginning of the next episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, go ahead and click like down below, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help, and we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.